Sedona is a hiker's paradise. Its trails are nestled in the Red Rock District of Coconino National Forest. Its canyons and rock formations create vibrant and colorful vistas that attract people from every corner of the world. We spent two weeks in Sedona. We hiked every day except for one. We enjoyed the views and explored the area, so in this video we're going to let you know our favorite things to do in Sedona. If we missed something, let us know in the comments. As always, when hiking, make sure you prepare accordingly. In this case, bring plenty of water because Arizona can get hot. And depending on the time of year, you might even want to bring micro spikes. Also, be aware that the trailheads in Sedona are paid to park, so you'll have to buy a Red Rock Pass to park at the trailheads. Number 13, Uptown Sedona. Uptown Sedona is on the northeast side of town. Here you can find great restaurants, most of which have beautiful views. The area also has shopping, tour guides, and sweet shops, so it is definitely worth a quick stop between hikes. Just keep in mind Uptown Sedona can get a little pricey. Number 12, Bear Mountain. This trail is on the northwest side of Sedona, and it's a rough one. The trail is five miles long with more than 2,000 feet of elevation gain. This one is all about the workout, but it still has some decent views along the way. Also, the trail has four false peaks, which would have been good to know before the hike. Number 11, Talakapake Arts and Crafts Village. This shopping village is located south of Uptown Sedona, and it's another great place to stop in between hikes. The village has galleries dedicated to painters, bronze artists, metal workers, and much more. And these artists are talented. It even has a music box store. Number 10, Devil's Bridge Trail. This is one of the most well-known trails in Sedona. In recent years, this natural bridge has become a social media icon with people flocking to Sedona to get a photo. While the bridge boasts some spectacular views, the trail itself is less than spectacular. Visitors that don't have a high clearance 4x4 vehicle will have to park at the Dry Creek Vista Trailhead and hike an extra mile and a quarter to reach the official trailhead. That mile and a quarter is on Dry Creek Road, which is an unmaintained dirt road, so that part of the hike is pretty uneventful. Once you leave Dry Creek Road and enter the forest, you'll see a lot more elevation gain, and you'll start to see the beautiful scenery that surrounds the bridge and the bridge itself. The trail is four miles out and back, and it'll take two to three hours to complete. This is a quick reminder that Arizona travel guides are now available at SojournExpedition.com. These guides contain detailed information about hikes, landmarks, overlooks, restaurants, and attractions from each location, including the Havasupai Reservation, the Grand Canyon, and Northern Arizona. Visit SojournExpedition.com to check out all of our travel guides. Number 9. Red Rock Scenic Byway if you've never been to Sedona, this scenic byway is a great way to familiarize yourself with the area. This is a seven and a half mile stretch of road that takes visitors past iconic red rock formations like Little Horse, Bell Rock, the Courthouse, and Cathedral Rock. The whole drive takes 15 to 30 minutes depending on how many times you stop to take in the views. Number eight, Soldier Pass. This is a four and a half mile trail that sits on the north side of Sedona. The trail is surrounded by red rock buttes and unique formations. Plus, the trail has several landmarks along the way, including the Devil's Kitchen, which is a 90-foot wide sinkhole, the Seven Sacred Pools, and the Soldier Pass Cave. This is a beautiful hike, but if you're going to do it, you should be aware of Sedona's trailhead shuttle system. Sedona has seen massive growth in tourism in recent years, so the city had to implement a shuttle system to cut down on traffic. So the Soldier Pass and Cathedral Rock trailheads are closed to traffic from Thursday to Sunday, and hikers have to either hike in or take the shuttle to access the trailhead. The shuttle locations and schedule can be found on SedonaShuttle.com, and in our experience, they ran on time. Once we leave the hiking trail, we're always looking for a good snack, and Sedona has several great food options. These are a few of our favorites. Sedonitz has the best donuts in Arizona. We started our day here on multiple occasions. Pisa Lisa had great pizza, and we also stopped here multiple times. Cowboy Club was our favorite restaurant in Uptown Sedona. And of course, we got dessert too. Black Cow Cafe had amazing homemade pies. And Cake Couture made delicious single serving cheesecakes. Number 7. Bell Rock. 
Bell Rock is located to the south of Sedona and it is undoubtedly the most popular butte in the area. It towers over the eastern side of the Red Rock Scenic Byway and it offers several hiking options so it's accessible to hikers and visitors of any skill level. Visitors can stop at the Bell Rock Vista or the Courthouse Vista to take in the views and get some photos, then hike one of the trails to the rock. The trailheads offer out and back trails, loop trails, and even a Bell Rock climb. We opted for the Courthouse Butte and Bell Rock Loop, which is a quiet four mile loop with great scenery that circles both buttes. Number six, Montezuma Castle. This is a small national monument located 25 minutes south of Sedona and it's a good place to take a break from the hiking. The monument preserves a 20-room living space built by the Sanagua Indians. Montezuma Castle is carved into limestone cliffs and it's an incredible sight. The monument has a gift shop and a short trail to view the ruins. The entire stop only takes about an hour. Number five, West Fork. This is one of the area's most beautiful hikes and it's popular. It follows the West Fork of the Oak Creek into the Red Rock Secret Mountain Wilderness. The trail has a ton of river crossings, 13 on the way out and 13 on the way back. But the views are fantastic. Red cliffs tower above the path with lush green scenery decorating the landscape. Although the parking lot is small and it fills up fast, so hikers will want to get there early. Number four, Chapel of the Holy Cross. This chapel is located on the south side of Sedona, just off the Red Rock Scenic Byway. Commissioned by a local rancher and completed in 1956, the Chapel of the Holy Cross sits on the southeast edge of Sedona and it is built into Sedona's Red Rock Buttes. This chapel is beautiful and it has been voted onto multiple lists for its architectural excellence. But the real treat is the landscape that surrounds it. The Chapel of the Holy Cross has two viewing areas and they offer some of the best scenic views in Sedona with a panoramic view of the valley below, including Bell Rock, Little Horse, the Courthouse, and Cathedral Rock. Number three, Boynton Canyon. This six mile trail is located on the north side of Sedona. While the Devil's Bridge and Bell Rock are beautiful rock formations, Boynton Canyon offers some of the best scenery in the area. The trail is surrounded by a vast Red Rock Canyon with rock formations to the north and Bear Mountain to the south. We hiked this one in January and we were glad we brought our micro spikes. The trail was dry at the beginning, but once we reached the shaded areas of the canyon, the trail became very icy. The canyon is gorgeous and it's well worth hiking to the end of the trail to see it, but most people do this trail to see the Subway Cave. A mile and a half into the trail, you can hang a right and take a short hike up into the cave, which is one of Sedona's most photographed locations. Number two, ATV trails. During our two week stay in Sedona, we hiked every day except one. On that day, we rented a Can-Am side-by-side and ventured into Coconino National Forest. Sedona has dedicated ATV trails, most of which are on the northwest side of town. We were hitting puddles and climbing rocks with beautiful Sedona vistas in the background. Plus, it rained the day before, which made it extra fun. The whole experience felt like an adventure, and honestly, we were surprised by how much fun we had on this ride. We got muddy and wet, but we loved every minute of it. That being said, the price was a little steep. A four-hour, half-day rental cost us $428. Plus, they put a $3,000 hold on our car just to make sure that we brought the ATV back in one piece. Because apparently, they've had issues with that in the past. Number one, Cathedral Rock. This is the best hike in Sedona. The trail is only a 1.2 mile out and back trail, but it has some decent elevation gain. There's also very little shade, so bring plenty of water for the climb. And remember, the trailhead is closed to vehicle traffic from Thursday to Sunday. The trail starts out relatively easy, but quickly begins to gain elevation as you start to scramble up the sandstone and balance your way through cracks in the rock. The path is well marked and there are beautiful views of the valley during the climb. At the top, hikers are rewarded with one of the best spots to view a sunset in all of Sedona. If you're capable, this hike is a must do. 